couple more slides here. So if you have questions, just want to take a moment to remind you to put them in that questions tab, and we will address those here as we wind up. A little bit about who we're looking for. You know, people come to us, do I need to have experience in cannabis? Well, the reality is nobody has experience in cannabis, uh, and so very few of us do. And so, no, we're looking for folks that are, are committed to helping grow this brand, that want to be part of a pioneering concept. Experience with multi-unit operations is a huge bonus for you, not the cannabis side, but just to be able to understand operations of retail, especially across multiple cities or multiple states. Uh, just that entrepreneurial drive. We talk about access to required capital. Well, gosh, unfortunately, there's no lending. You can't just put your 15 or 20 percent down and go to a bank and get an SBA because SBAs are federal and federally this is illegal. So this is a capital investment need at least a million bucks liquid. Doesn't mean it has to be you, could be through partners or private money or family or whatever you choose to do, but know that you can't come to this with your normal 20% down and finance the rest. And an average investment goes from a million to 2.5, depending on what you're looking to do. Acquisitions could be much, much more. New market entrants could be significantly less, but on average, a million to two and a half, is the total investment uh, of which again you need to come to the table with that required liquidity ultimately our stores are a place that's safe a place that's well lit a consultative approach a customer centric approach to this industry opposed to the deli style eyeballs burning the back of your head if you have a question type of a mentality that we've seen in this industry up to date and so this is an opportunity for people to shop it for people to ask questions, for people to get that customer service that allows them to have a good customer experience, but also product experience, because we have a responsibility here to educate and tell people what's up, tell people how this product is going to impact them, tell people about the, the many methods of consumption that a lot of folks who are kind of curious don't even know. And so there's an educational component here for us, and it's a responsibility to help our customers both uh, industry veterans, uh, using veterans, and also folks who are new to this or kind of curious to be able to come in and have a really great experience. So before we get to questions, I'll just tell you a little bit about where we go from here. If you're interested in franchising in any concept, they'll have some sort of a process for you to make sure that before you say your I do's, you've gone on enough dates to know each other well, know that this is a good fit. The better the franchise, the more focus they're going to have on that cultural fit to make sure that this is a good all around uh, journey for us all to go on ahead. And so the journey of kind of the dating before the I do is, is let's talk. Let's understand whose role is what. Let's get into the details and the black and white. Let's break bread. Let's meet in person uh, and make sure that we have a plan that we all believe in, that we all think is attainable, that everybody's safe and that uh, we don't have any of those awkward conversations after we go into a partnership together. So that's uh, kind of what we'll do. Folks who are really aggressive get through that in a couple of weeks, other folks a couple of months. But the key is for us to make sure that we understand each other's goals and abilities and roles so that we can come up with a plan to move forward together.